Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is David, this is David K Reacts, and here I ramble with articulation, I hope, about a variety of musical, video, and audio elements of videos that I check out. And today, I am very excited to be checking out a video that's been on my radar for a little while now, um, or I guess on my compass, one might say, and that is Skull and Bones by Home Free. This was written for the video game Skull and Bones, and I, it's a game I haven't played. Um, this is a single player or multiplayer pirate ship adventure. And my understanding is it doesn't have a huge amount of story to it. And that is why I haven't played it. I'm very much about experiencing story when I'm playing games. Um, I believe the reception was pretty good. Um, a bit mixed, but uh, regardless, it's a game that I think you're in the Indian, Indian Ocean piloting a ship and you're the captain and you get to sail it around and, uh, you know, fight other sort of uh, pirates or ships or mercenaries, I'm not sure, uh, back in, I want to say, the 17 or 1800s. Um, it sounds like a really fun idea, and I do like pirate ship games. This one, as I say, it just didn't speak to me particularly. So take everything I say about it with a pinch of salt. However, Home Free are a group I really do enjoy. Uh, we've got a lot of their work on the channel. If you're coming to this uh, from the game, please do check out Home Free themselves. They're awesome. And uh, also check out the original video if you haven't seen it. I've linked it below in the description. And yeah, that would be a good thing to do for sure. Um, this is a game came out literally about two months ago as I am recording this. No, as, in fact, as I'm recording this about a month ago as I'm releasing it almost two months ago. Uh, I'm recording quite far in advance this time just to make sure I get everything I want done for video game month. Um, but yeah, this I am very excited to hear uh, what they've done with it. I think uh, this should be a lot of fun. I will say welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time here. If it is, the way this works, I'm going to watch the video through once, not stopping, emoting and commenting over the top, and then I will go back and watch it a second time, and this time I will pause and interrupt and offer what commentary and an analysis I feel I can based on what I've just seen and heard, and the foreknowledge of having seen the video once before. Please do like the video, hit the subscribe button, uh, do head, hit the notification bell if you want to choose how often YouTube tells you I'm posting, and if you would care to donate to support the channel, I would be very grateful, and you could head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash davidkreacts, or patreon.com forward slash davidkreacts, depending on whether you want to give a one-off donation or support on an ongoing basis and also get access to my Discord channel. Or you can just leave a super thanks here on YouTube. None of those are required, but gratefully received if you choose to do them. Um, pardon the notification, somebody is working very, very late uh, at my company, apparently. Sorry, quick break there while I turned my notifications off. I was not expecting somebody to be working this late while I'm recording. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think that's everything I have to say. So without any further delay, this is Home Freeze Skull and Bones. Yo ho, yo ho, the seas forever Woo! Yo -ho, wow, the bass in that. Till I'm not but skull and bones Wow, that's incredible. 16, okay, 17th century, not 1700s, my bad. It's interesting hearing them with instruments. From outcast, a kingpin was born upon the sea. There was meant to walk the land of pirates life for me. Alas, oh, this is fun. up the sails to speak to mutiny. Find yourself a wanton quarter bottom of the sea. Among the shores of Saint Anne to the eastern shores. I'll take my chances on the winds of loot and plunder scores. <laughs> Our flag, it stands for us alone and no one else around. We owe our honor to the sea and not to any crown. Yo, yo, oh, this has got a, it's got a really nice, constantly pushing groove to it. I like it. <laughs> into the wide of treasures to be found a pirate's life for nothing else 
to the ship. She's going down. Yo, 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 the oh, that's a cool transition. I like that. Love that drop back. That's really nice. A pirate's life until we're done. This kind of lets Home Free do their thing for a minute without instruments. Ah, nice. Another cool transition. I like that. I like the idea they're using the barrels as percussion. That's fun. <laughs> I'm amused thinking about them as pirates. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very cool. Very, very cool. That's awesome. I really, really like... It's It's got a lovely kind of... There's a pace to it that never gives up. Um, and I, even though they go through a few different sort of styles of sound, it's just that one consistent thing that keeps it moving the whole way through. I really like... That's, that's cool. Uh, and I love the sound they created. I like that they... It's interesting hearing them do something with instruments. And then at the same time, I love that they had that moment in the middle where they get to do the full a cappella thing, leave the instruments behind, and uh, and just go like uh, you know, do the home free thing. That's awesome. Uh, that's also a really cool video. I like that the that you know, it's there's not a crazy story going on there, but there's enough to keep you interested the whole way through. Um, to the point where I'm going to have to probably have to listen to a couple of things here a couple of times because there's one thing to comment on visually and something completely different audio wise. Uh, but yeah, that's that's really cool. Some nice graphics. Uh, and actually, I really liked what they did with the bits of set that they did have. I thought that was very, very effective. Uh, let's go back and check this guy out again and see what I can tease out. That's an atmospheric beginning, isn't it? Just the ropes. Like, that's a cool thing to start. There's, it's it's interesting because you don't quite know where you're going with that. It could be the ropes of a ship, which I think is, you know, what we're supposed to uh, assume at that point. Could also be the hangman's noose. Not quite. Bit too patterned, but there's, there's a suggestion there, especially if you know this has got a kind of like a piratey feel to it. Like, where is this going? And the the blue light, the or, well, here, the grey light that fades to blue. Um, but it kind of, this kind of morning fog feel that's going on here. Really, really atmospheric. It's a cool way to start the video. Yo, ho, yo, ho. The seas forever roll. Tim! Damn! <laughs> it's not often you hear this from Tim. I love that he's giving it here. Um, that's wow. This doubling between him and Chance is really, really effective. The seas forever roll your home. And it's not like Chance isn't deep enough to begin with, and then to have that down there at the bottom. Woohoo! Wow! That's it's really, really effective. It sets a scene, right? Um it's interesting because, you know, yo-ho, yo-ho, it's very easy to sort of think of the yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me kind of thing. But here they're using it as really, it's 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 more of a kind of, um, 
uh, recognition of each other rather than like a rallying cry at this point. It's just an acknowledgement of, of who they are. Uh, that's really interesting. Love this shot too. I like that we get these little intercutting things before we actually get to a point where we're seeing the group. Um, we're just getting all this scene setting of where the video is taking place. It's very, very cool. Actually, that's a lovely shot too, just of chance. The obviously, you know, cloaked, he's very, very much in shadow, even though we have light sources behind him. Um, that he's only just lit enough that we can make out who it is. But the cool, the arch, that's a really, really nice framing thing. Um, notice even at the top of the frame, it's really nicely done. There's just, is my cursor showing up the stomach? Yes, good. There's just a little fraction there. It's a perfect frame around. It's not cut off by the hood. And there's something about that that's just, it makes him stand out just a tiny bit more. Really, really effective. And you have that yo ho. It gets a little bit hopeful for a second, and then you get the skull and bones yo ho, and you're back down again. I really like how much they're playing with expectation here. It's like, are we going to go somewhere a little bit higher? Are we going to resolve this in any way? Nope, we're coming right back down again. Very, very effective. Still I'm not but skull and bones yo. Now, my guess would be that this is the font in which dates and locations are revealed in-game. I feel like that's the kind of thing that you do when you're making a video like this. I might be wrong about that. Regardless, it's kind of cool, because it looks a little bit like it's been painted on, but at the same time, there's a sharpness and a cleanliness about it that is very contemporary. I like that blend between the two. Um, and just this creak, the, the curiosity of who is this person, whose door are we opening? Really, really nice way to go out of this early section and then move into the next section of both the song and the visuals. From outcast to king pin was I really, really like that. You get this the simpleness of that constantly pounding drum rhythm there it just immediately sets us into tempo but it's also there's something about it that just on its own it's a very very effective method it's one of those things like the original uh, i can't think of the guy's name now who popularized wellerman on tiktok where he was just it was just that thump and it's it's a very very effective way of setting a vibe as well as setting a tempo really really cool and then the guitar part over the top of it's actually really really nice as well it was, it, it's surprising hearing so much instrumentation in a home free song and it is kind of fun i like hearing them do something a little bit different from outcast a kingpin was born upon the sea there was meant to walk the land a pirate's life for me I love that the the drumming is almost always diegetic. Like any time that we see Rupp on screen, he's got the pounding going visually. That's actually really, really nice. Kind of plays into that idea that they could actually be singing this at the tavern themselves. He never was meant to walk the land of pirates life for me. The last you wind and up the sails don't speak to mutiny. Find yourself a wanton quarter bottom of the sea. I like that too. Ending that verse on the the fifth down there. Not the note that you would expect. You'd sort of expect a bottom of the sea, but instead you get the bottom of the sea. And it kind of it's it's cool because it tells us we're going somewhere else. We're going to get this back. Pretty standard um, song structure to go back and have another verse. But there's something about that simple note down there. It's low. You know, Chance wasn't singing that low before. He was being doubled down there by Tim, but he wasn't singing that low before. And so the fact that he drops down there now is actually really effective, I think. Find yourself a wanton quarter bottom of the sea Among the shores of St. Anne to the eastern shores I'll take my chances on the winds of loot and blunder score now I'm curious, because it's harder to tell now, because there are legitimate instruments in this, how much of this percussion is Rupp versus how much is is other actual instruments here, like that but 
that's being uh, coming at the end of every second bar or the beginning rather of every second bar there is that rap or is that actually a drum because he's good enough that i can't tell sometimes <laughs> and that's what i know it's him so now i'm kind of interested i don't know how much is is them and there was there was a drone at the beginning too where i was thinking is that them or is that actually an instrument playing i'm not sure um yeah this is this is so cool i love how it's kind of it fits the vibe of what we're seeing right now like this kind of dingy uh you know candle lit tavern uh where everything it, all the colors are quite dull and sallow it's not there's not there's no vibrancy here i'm sure so i'll take my chances on the winds of loot and blunder scores our flag it stands for us alone and no one else around we owe our honor to the sea and not to any crown Yo. that's really really effective i like what's actually being done here with um that just leaving all of this as chance but with little elements here and there it's actually nice because then when we come in on this yo ho there's now a sense of togetherness that wasn't there before it was just this it was the solo and even though yes he was being doubled but there was doubling doesn't give you the same sense of um uh there being multiple people kind of performing this together unless there's more to it than just that this having a whole group of people singing the same thing yes uh it's it's nice we've kind of been leading up to this point um and i think it's it's cool that it, it's it's taken this long to get there it's actually very very effective honor to the sea and not to any crown yo the sea's forever And it's interesting, the harmony is relatively in the back for a home free video. Like, you're used to hearing it so much more up the front, but if you listen to some of this. It's much more focused on doubling and the and the melody line than it is. And even then, the doubles sing a couple of harmony notes and then slip back into doubling again. There's not a crazy harmonic blend here. There doesn't need to be for this style of song, especially with the guitar playing in the background. But it's really, really effective still, um, the way that they've spread their voices out. You have quite a lot of breadth. And so it's making it sound fuller than it really, really is. Uh, that's very, very cool. The wind's I like that they're playing a little bit with the scansion of the song here, like this set here. So bullies, bottoms up, raise the sails and drink with me. Raise the sails and drink with me. It's it's it it gives it this sense of motion the whole time that he's singing so many syllables in a single line. Raise the sails and drink. That would work, but raise the sails and drink with me. It kind of keeps everything moving on. It's it's really nicely constructed. So me bullies bottoms up for raise the sails and drink with me Here's to us live long and long live piracy And then there the second time around here's to us live long long live piracy that it's both ends here's to us piracy Whereas live long, long live, it's much slower, it's a bit more deliberate, it's on the beat without that multiple syllable thing going on. The contrast between those two lines is actually really interesting. Um, it's a well-constructed lyric. Me is to us, live long and long live piracy. Bring around into the wide of treasures to be found. A pirate's life for nothing else to the ship she's going down. Yo. I love that transition. Else to the ship she's going down. Yo, yo. This, this, the wipe disguised by the brush. That's really, really well done. Like, dude, come on. <laughs> I love, I like this story. I like that she starts out as the deckhand and ends up as the captain. Forever, 
this is a it, this is beautiful. This is this is a testament. I I talked in my intro video last week about um, video game audio having come a long way, but here is proof that graphics have also come a long way. I mean, you think about the beginning of games. Arguably, depending on who you ask, is Pong. You compare that <laughs> in what 40, 50 years? When was Pong? When did Pong? Uh, double check that quickly while I'm talking because I'm curious to know. Um, Pong was released in 1972. And we're now at 2024. So 52 years. The rate at which the games industry is evolving is astonishing. Like, if you looked at this, if you glanced at this without paying too much attention to it, you would be forgiven for thinking this is a photograph. Really, really well done. I like what's happening here with the percussion, too. He's got this da 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 ba 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 bum ba 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 bum It's constantly that sort of percussive, um, sort of pacey beat to it. There, bum, bum, ba, bum, but at the same time, bum, bum. It keeps that percussion going even as the rest of the instrumentation is playing something slower. Again, would have been easy to do ba 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 bum, ba bum, 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 but not ba 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 bum, bum. It keeps it flowing a little bit. It keeps it pacey, even as the other instruments are punctuating what's going on with a slightly different rhythm. I really, really like that. Appropriate, of course, that as they start singing Heave Ho, we start getting the pull on the rope. Uh, I really, really like this drop back here. It's so effective because we, we end up, we, there's this quite sort of harsh sound that's coming out of the percussion. Something about that tricks the brain slightly into thinking that more is happening. Or, or maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I felt like it was a more gradual reduction of what's going on into the acapella section than it really was. It really does just snap out of it, the section that previous verse is done. I guess there is the string just hanging on bum, that fades out a little bit as they start. That does help, but at the same time, I do think that percussion sound is playing a part in that. Ooh, there's that bass doubling again. My goodness, what a sound. It just kind of... It, it's it's even more prevalent there because it's not going over the top of Adam singing who's already down quite low. It really like you feel the rumble. That's great. Yeah, you can't miss that. A pirate's life until we're done. A pirate's life until and of course, the call and response here is so effective. And at the same time, you just have that constant percussive sound that Rupp's putting out there. Really, really cool, the sounds he's throwing into this. It's, you know, not your traditional drum kit. And what he's doing with it, it's keeping it... You've still got the, the sort of the bass drum feel, but the other kind of percussion instruments that he's representing around that, really, really cool. A pirate's life until we're done. Bring her bring her I love there as well. We kind of get that bring her around coming through in the back. It's almost like crew shouting for it to happen, being done in time with the song. That's a really, really effective sound. So slight in the background, but very, very effective. Bring her 
That's cool too. Pirates life for me, I found a pirate. I can't quite hear what they're saying, but that Oh, underneath what Adam's singing. That's so cool. Pirate's life for me, I found a pirate's life for me, I found you hold, you hold the seas. And again, that <sighs> pulling as the drums start coming in as well. It's a lovely sort of rising back out of uh, sort of the, the a cappella sound back into being a fuller instrumental sound. That's really, really nicely done. I like that a lot. Another great transition. Coin, a coin flip is a, is a fun transition always, but this one's really well done. I think it's also the effectiveness of the change of scenery. Like you go from... Can I... Me, I found a pirate. If I go straight from there. No, I can't quite do it. It's within the five seconds that YouTube skips. But the fact that we have this kind of slightly grayish green almost like going on here in this scene, it's quite cold um, as she's playing with the coin. Like nothing in that chest is shining particularly. It's all coins and jewels, but there's no luster to it. It catches the light. It looks almost silver at that point. Even the jewelry, the jewelry on her fingers is shining more than any of the treasure they just found. And you have that flicker of the blue again. Just jump back to that quickly. Where's my mouse gone? So under this, you have that f that blue light, very similar to what we saw. Uh, chance standing in at the beginning of the video. The flip comes up. We've just got little hints of candlelight here. There's no real warmth to this shot. And then we immediately cut to this. It's almost got the pinks and the blues. It's immediately warmer, uh, friendlier colors. The hand is suddenly lit. The coin is a little bit more golden now than it was before. Like the number of shifts that happen in what we're looking at between the scenes and obviously indoors, outdoors, etc., etc. But it's really, really nicely done. And all the gold is shining now. Great stuff. And again, some lovely graphics here. I was chuckling when this came up, I think. Just these guys all done up as pirates is quite comical to me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's good. They look great, don't get me wrong. I just, it's something I wasn't expecting. Uh, I don't, I mean, obviously coming into this song, I was expecting it. But uh, if you told me they were going to do this, and I think they have done shanties before, so I have no idea what they were dressed in then. Um, that video is to come somewhere down the line. Um, also like the fact that you still have Chance in black. Since the beginning of the video, he's been in black. Uh, you know, the black cloak previously. And now he's standing out from the rest of them by wearing black as the sort of primary singer of the song. Cool that he's playing the guitar too. Um, I assume he plays? I don't know. Um, do I know that? No, I don't think I know that. Um, but yeah, this is, this is really, really cool. I love that. And the fact that they've got them... Uh, I'm curious if this is one of those false backdrops, like it's, uh, you know, one of these LED screen backdrops, or whether they put like a matte thing up there. I feel like it's probably an LED thing. It's uh, It's been nicely done. I like that. It's, it's a cool backdrop to have behind them. I like the use of the camera here. There's a lot of, it's a lot of um, handheld camera work. So it's a little bit more shaky. Gives you the vibe that you're sailing on a ship a little bit. Uh, it's a nice touch. It's not too much that it becomes difficult to watch. Um, but I like what they've done with it. I love how big the sound has become now. Ah! up there in the background um presumably austin at a guess oh, 
Like, there's there's a real sense of it being a full sound now. They've gone from being a ragtag band hanging out into a tavern to being a crew on a ship. That's the kind of feel that it's giving to me. Uh, and it's becoming a bit more celebratory, which is, you know, you want it to be. I like that. <laughs> And I love that finish. The instruments just not quite staying fully like this. Slight pitch shifting going on there. And of course, the laugh down at the bottom sounds fantastic as well. That's really cool. I really, really like what they've done with that. Um, also, just a great final shot. I like the idea of finishing above them. Like that's, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that's not an angle that you regularly see a ship at. Um... You know, in, in and I mean in in you know movies or whatever. Um, this is a really cool. Like I feel like you see that during a fight, you see tactical maneuvers, but just seeing it sailing through the sea, that's really really awesome. Um, and I love the use of depth of field here, the slightly out of focus island, and yet the trees that are kind of level with the mast over on, on the one side are a little bit more visible. Um, there's again beautiful graphic work here. I'm really impressed with this. That's a really fun video. I enjoy that song. Uh, I enjoy what they did with the video. That's really, really cool. Um, very, very impressed with that. Um, so yeah, that is Home Freeze Skull and Bones. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope I brought something to you, be it uh, the song, Home Free themselves. Check them out if you haven't. Or just a new perspective on it if you'd seen it before. Something you hadn't caught watching it yourself. That's what I'm really here to try and do try and bring cool elements of this to people's attention because these videos have a lot of cool stuff going on um yeah that's everything for this week thank you for being here with me especially if you're still here at the end i really appreciate it please do like the video hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and if you would care to donate to support the channel you can do so at either buymeacoffee.com forward slash david k reacts or patreon.com forward slash david k reacts or by leaving a super thanks comment on this video. Uh, any of them greatly appreciated, but no pressure. Thank you, I really appreciate you spending your time here. There's lots more video game month stuff to come, so I hope you'll join me for the rest of those videos. Um, do look after yourselves. Have an absolutely wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night time. I don't know, 11, 17 a.m. Let's try that, see if I get someone. Um, yeah, look after yourselves, take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.